good happy Wednesday morning to you welcome back everybody we are going to get the car fixed and oh, wow look at those trees look at them it is so white out here you guys Anyways, we are going to get the car. What do we get? I don't even we know. We gotta get the side door fixed. The, car, yeah. the side door of the van doesn't work. The side door of the van doesn't work. New van doesn't work. Hi, pumpkin. Don't be so close. <laughs> we wait and wait. So they're fixing our car door now, but I don't know how long it's gonna take. Boy, we rushed around this morning like crazy, didn't we, Nick? Mm -hmm. I, I woke up at 5.30 thinking I was going to jump right out of bed and then I closed my eyes and Curtis called at 6.35 and we really had to leave the house by 7, at least at the latest by 7.40 and we got out by 7.40 and then I realized that I was out of gas, so I had to get gas. But we got here on time, on the nose, unbelievable. My kids, they came through for me, they, they rushed, we even got the dog out. And we got the neighbor's dog out and got breakfast, had worship, dressed, beds made in an hour. So they've informed us at the dealership that this is going to take all day. So we got a ride to Target, a shot from their shuttle, and Daddy's calling. So we're at one of our favorite places, Target, simply because it's close to the dealership where we are. And they gave us a ride here and we're doing some shopping. But we can't get too much because we gotta carry it wherever we go. They said it was gonna take all day to get that thing fixed. Buy two, get one free. These are buy two, get one free. This is dog puzzle, it's really cool. It's a bunch of little dogs you gotta dog make. Dog pile. Oh dog. yeah, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, dog puzzle. A puzzle of a dog pile. I cute. Can I get a Rubik's Cube? I don't even know that I could solve this one. So now we're just trying to pass time. It's only like 11.45. We got a while till lunch. We have no vehicle. We didn't even, I didn't even think to get the kids their, to bring their books. Because we were rushing around so, so far. I didn't want them to pack a lunch and I didn't even get to do that. But it's all right, it's all good. The weather has let up so it's really nice. So we're just walking down here, checking out the shopping. And I think we'll get an Uber and go to Pucarita, uh, our favorite. Mexican restaurant, even though we told you we weren't eating out anymore. But this is an extenuating circumstance. What do you do? You want to sit down somewhere? I don't know. Hi, Pucalita. That's our. I hope we're pronouncing it right. I don't think we. I don't know if we are or not. But this is like the best little Mexican restaurant ever, isn't it? Olivia. It's just it just tastes so good. But yeah, so we don't eat out, but here we are eating out. But this is this is it's an emergency. Emergency. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. Right. Mm -hmm. Caroline's working on this guacamole. How is it, Carol Catherine? Really good. Mm. Olivia. <laughs> Nick. How is it? Very good. Good. Delicious. I don't know. Be careful, sweetheart. Okay. I don't want. I don't want snow inside your shoes. It looks like a bathtub. There's like big ice bubbles. Oh really? So this having to wait for our car all day is turning out to not be so half bad. This weather is beautiful, you guys. It's like 45 degrees. Snow everywhere. done finally with the car with the van and Man, I gotta talk to you about it later and it works really smooth it works now doesn't it yeah it's my dish man my sick dish man yeah thank you boy I appreciate no you problem. you're the best that kind of a quirky day yeah very quirky it's time to end it yes you are right <laughs> We got this at the library yesterday. Caroline wants to read it a little bit before we have worship. You want to join us, Catherine? Yes. All right. 
I think it's time for a cup of tea. Mm. I just love to end the day with a cup of tea. I really do. I should really like advertise for tea, shouldn't I? You guys need tea? Go help yourself. Pause the video. Go get some tea. Ah, you guys, it just seems like so many things are breaking down on us lately. Like I got the door, the sliding door to the van was broken. I don't know if I told you that earlier. That's what this whole issue was about. Wouldn't open, it wouldn't close, having all kinds of issues with it. And then the garage door, that broke on us over the weekend on Friday. So we had to have somebody come and repair that. Curtis has a huge crack going across his windshield and some of the trim fell off of his van and his is brand new. He just got his in September. I just got mine in October. We're having issues with those. But you know, I should be ever so grateful that God blesses us because you know today that would have cost me. The bill um, came up to $1,453. But thankfully I had an extended warranty. The warranty even ran out, but I had purchased an extended warranty. So I had a $200 deductible, which so it cost me $200 instead of $1,400 plus. So I'm thankful for that. I'm so thankful that even though it was like a weird day, things didn't go quite the way I wanted it to, that I still saw God's hand in it in a lot of ways. I saw some time that we could spend some extra time with the kids, that um, we really enjoyed the day. The weather was beautiful. The sun was shining. The snow was so pretty. And I just, it just makes me to stop and think and just reflect and uh, be grateful for God's blessings, you know? So we'll get the other things fixed. We'll get the windshield fixed and things. And you know what else? I feel really bad because um, a few weeks ago, about three or four, three, three weeks ago, yesterday, um, the house of just a few houses down caught on fire. And you know, we have such minor problems compared to theirs. The whole garage completely went down in flames. The two vehicles inside burned up, and today they completely demolished the rest of the house. The whole house is gone now. They, they completely took it up, took it down, and hauled it away. And I think, wow, you know, I'm just thankful that um, we have what we have that God blesses. And that even if that were to ever happen to us, that um, there's always a blessing in every trial. No matter how bad it gets, there's always a blessing in every trial. So on that note, why don't we have a little reading? Look at my coloring book. I'm getting it done. This is um, the book that Desiree gave me. Isn't it nice? Steps to Christ coloring book. And you guys, if you've been watching our videos, know that we're going to give some of these away. I ordered some for you guys. So when they come in, we're going to have a giveaway. Anyways, um, this is what I've been doing with this one, and there's a lot more to go. There's lots, lots, and lots of coloring to do in here. And I've been having so much fun with this, just really enjoying it, and enjoying the words too, you guys. This is from the first chapter, God is Love. And I'm just going to read this, what they highlighted here. God is Love is written upon every opening bud upon every spire of springing grass. The lovely birds make the air vocal with their happy songs. The delicately tinted flowers in their perfection perfuming the air. The lofty trees of the forest with their rich foliage of living green all testify to the tender fatherly care of our God and to his desire to make his children happy. We just, all we need to do is just look at nature and just see the love that God has for us. Even today with the snow, um, I just saw the beauty in it and the love that God has for us. Even when it's cold and it looks like there's just death around, um, there is there is a level of beauty there that just shows us, that just promises us that there is, there is a better way. And as we wait for better things to come, that God brings joy to our moment, even as we um, go through this difficult time in this difficult world. And um, I think that's enough. I think it's enough to chew on, isn't it? 
those of you who are interested in participating in our giveaway, don't forget to check out our giveaway video. And then that will just explain everything, show you how to get involved, show you what we're giving away. And um, also, we are giving away um, every day. I keep forgetting, you guys. Where is this? Here it is. This little book, Steps to Christ. Um, this doesn't have coloring in it, but it's got all the words, it's got all the text, and it's beautifully, beautifully written, inspired by the Lord, and um, I want you guys to have one of these, if you want one, for free. If you just want to give me your address, we'll send one off to you. And, um, what else? There was something else. Oh, I remember. We're looking for vi for video clips from you, from from if you want to just do it by yourself or invite your friends, your family, your neighbors, whoever, to join you and giving me a little video clip that says, "Live well and be strong." I would love to use it to finish off our vlogs and um, just make a opportunity for you all to get involved in this sense of community and just um, being together and edifying one another, supporting each other and learning to live healthy and well. So, the um, email address, or you can see email, yeah, email address I'll have in the description below if you wanna send me one of those. Love you guys, have a great day, evening, night, whatever time it is for you, and until next time, don't forget to live well and be strong. Adios.